an early morning view of sunrise on Mars. This image was taken by Perseverance rover and images like these are more than just beauty shots. Martian sunrise, sunset and twilight images help scientists to determine how high into the atmosphere the Martian dust extends and allow them to look for dust or ice clouds. This image shows a hill named Bolivar that is capped by layered bedrocks and its adjacent sand ridges. The image was captured by Curiosity rover using its mast cam, which takes color videos and images of the Martian terrain. Seen here is the Belva crater, which is about 0.6 miles in diameter. Also visible in the center of the image is the distant east-northeast wall of the much larger Zero crater some 25 miles away. Impact craters like Belva can offer grand views and contain vertical cuts that provide important clues to the geologic history of the area. There are also multiple bedrocks exposed in vertical cross-section. Bedrocks like these could indicate the presence of a large Martian sandbar made of sediment that billions of years ago was deposited by a river flowing into the lake that Zezero crater once held. Perseverance rover captured this close-up of a layered rock called Berry's Rock that appeared to have fallen from an outcrop above. The rock was named after Berry's Rock in Shenandoah National Park in Virginia, USA. This was the exact moment when multiple dust devils were spotted in the Zero crater. The dust clouds are estimated to be about 4 square kilometers in size and this is the first wind lifted dust cloud of this scale ever captured on Mars. This amazing panorama of Marker Band Valley was captured by Curiosity Mars rover. Far in the distance at the upper right is the upper part of Mount Sharp and directly in front of the rover is the outer edge of the Marker Band, a dark thin rock layer. A Marker Band is a term geologists use to refer to a very distinct layer.
The rocks you see here have a rippled texture that was created billions of years ago as waves flowed upon a shallow lake. Despite having climbed through thousands of feet of lake deposits, Curiosity had never previously seen evidence of water and waves this clear. The discovery came as a surprise because this region is thought to have formed as Mars climate was growing drier. The lower levels of Mount Sharp are a transitional zone between a clay-rich region and one filled with sulfates. Therefore, these regions can offer insight into Mars' warm, watery past and the study of this region may also provide a record of the major climatic shift that took place billions of years ago on Mars. For example, this region has unique geological features that include clay minerals that appear as flaky layers of sedimentary rocks as seen in this image. These features formed when water still flowed into the Gale Crater, depositing sediments at the base of Mount Sharp. Higher on the mountain, the hill was likely covered in wind-swept dunes that hardened into rock over time. In between them is where the flaky layers formed possibly as a result of small ponds or streams that wove them among the dunes. Curiosity rover captured this view of a slope with a steep incline, slippery sand and wheel-sized boulders. All those factors made this a very difficult climb for the rover during its mission. This image shows the Mars helicopter Ingenuity's final resting place after completing its last flight on January 18, 2024. Ingenuity's flying days are over because the helicopter received damages to at least one of its four rotor blades, making it incapable of flying again. Curiosity rover recorded this video showing the passage of 12 hours on Mars. While the video doesn't reveal any clouds or dust activity, it did capture the remarkable passage of time as the sun rose and set on Mars. This is an iron-nickel meteorite which is estimated to be about a foot across. It is one of several meteorites found on Mars.
Curiosity rover captured this image during its venture on one of the high terrains of Mount Sharp. In the middle of the panorama, the landscape at the edge of Mount Sharp can be seen. The rover took the image when it sat in the same place that it usually drives through since 2014. In the center part of the image, rounded terrains are noticeable. The far right of the image also includes Rafael Navarro Mountain. A panorama of the interior and rim of Gale Crater, which is a large impact basin formed around 3.7 billion years ago. It spans about 96 miles in diameter and holds Mount Sharp in its center. The crater formed when an asteroid or comet punched a hole in the terrain and the subsequent explosion ejected rocks and soil that landed around the crater. Layering in Mount Sharp suggests it is the surviving remnant of an extensive sequence of deposits. Some scientists believe the crater filled in with water and sediments, and over time the relentless Martian winds carved Mount Sharp, which today rises about 3.4 miles above the floor of Gale. This is an outcrop called Point Lake which is about 20 inches high and pockmarked with holes of different sizes. Holes form in rocks by diverse mechanisms and identifying which mechanism can provide understanding about the rock and its history. NASA scientists are considering diverse geological processes as explanations for the holes and other characteristics of Point Lake. This dark sand dune on Mars shows two different sizes of ripples created by wind. While the smaller ripples seen here are familiar sights on Earth, the bigger ripples which are around 3 meters apart have not been seen before, on Earth or on Mars. The sand dune is between 15 to 20 feet tall and is part of a network of sand dunes that fill what was probably once the bottom of a lake. Much is still to be discovered about these mysterious dunes. This video from Perseverance rover shows very close views of an upbraided rock in Zazero crater, an area scientists consider one of the best places to search for signs of ancient microbial life. Scientists used instruments on the rover to see how light interacted with the rock surface, revealing different components in the rock including chemicals, minerals, and organic matter. By putting together the image and spectral information the instrument collects, it can also help scientists understand where organics and minerals are in the rock and select samples for return to Earth. The goosebump-like features in the center of this image were formed by water billions of years ago. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover discovered them as it climbed the slope of green hue pediment.
This few shows part of the path Perseverance Mars rover took through a portion of a boulder field called Snowdrift Peak during one of its missions.